Hello everyone, I am the demon of Zack Mueller's soul, and you're watching The Insider. <laughs> hey Zach. Mom, I told you not to come in when I'm filming. Good morning everyone, my name is Zach Mueller and welcome to The Insider. I say good morning because today's episode was actually posted at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time bright and early. After 41 episodes, we've come to the conclusion that apparently not everybody wants to stay home on their Friday nights to watch an adolescent kid talk about magic. Don't worry, I was just as shocked as you are. So we've decided from this point on to move the release date from 11 p.m. all the way up to 11 a.m. This way it'll be ready for you right when you clock off work or get home from school or at a reasonably better time for our international viewers. Holla at my UK crowd. And with that said, let's jump into this week's news. First off, I want to talk about something that appeared in my subscription box on YouTube on Wednesday that absolutely made my week that I think you'll be very excited about. They have finally released part four of the David Blaine Street Magic spoof viral videos. If you've ever used a computer or been near a computer or been in a library that has a computer, You've probably seen one of the first three installments of this series. They were some of the first big viral videos to ever circle the interwebs, and they finally released the fourth installment. Is it pretty much the exact same concept as the first three videos, only rehashed and done a little worse? Yeah, kind of. But should you still watch it? Of course you should. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is getting older a lot quicker than I thought. In other news, Chris Angel is going to be appearing on Rosie O'Donnell's TV show for their Halloween special. Also in other news, was I the only one who didn't think Rosie O'Donnell was still alive, let alone with her own TV show? In other other news, nobody cares about this story, so we'll move on. You probably heard the news that on Monday we released our brand new web show, Expose, a show with a very cool show name that is literally impossible to spell. I tried holding down E and then option E and then option double E, nothing works. On one hand, anybody trying to YouTube search for the show will find it impossible, but on the other hand, anybody who searches Theory 11 Magic Tricks Exposed will probably get to it. So it's a double-edged sword. If you don't already know, Expose is a weekly magic review show where my wonderful co-host Kristen Gearhart and I select a trick, we break it down, we tell you what we loved and hated, ultimately find ways to make witty remarks about the unimportant aspects of the effect, and overall it's a pretty good time. First off, I wanted to take a moment to thank you all for the awesome feedback and response that we've gotten from the show in the comments and the forums and on Twitter and Facebook. You guys have been just really awesome of welcoming the new show and also welcoming Kristen aboard. So I wanted to thank you all for that even if 50% of those comments are about Kristen's breastesses. Not gonna lie, they're very distracting. I saw several comments along the lines of, are you just going to be reviewing solely Theory 11 effects? And the answer is, of course not. Vertigo released just a couple weeks ago, so it made sense to feature it as it was coming out. But no, Kristen and I are not biased at all. Okay, we're very, very biased. In all honesty though, even though we are part of Theory 11, so technically it's our release, we really did love the trick, and everything we said was the truth. I literally cannot stop impossibly balancing that box on things. Did anyone else get that Parks and Recreation reference? No? Just me. In future episodes, we plan on reviewing mostly effects that are on the wire, because those are all completely user-generated and user-created. In fact, the original idea for Expose was to just feature tricks that were on the wire, we just didn't want to pin ourselves to one specific category. So one week we could be reviewing pressure, and another week we could be reviewing something Shin Limmy on the wire, another week we could be reviewing something from Illusionist. You never know. Okay, that's a bit of a stretch, but you get the idea. Another question that's cropped up quite a bit was, who is this Kristen Gearhart character, and why is she not nearly as funny as Zach Mueller? I may have made up that last part. But Kristen is a friend of mine who I met through the Magic Castle. She is a member of the junior program since 2006 and graduated just recently this year, leaving me alone in the program to shuffle the cards by myself. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. I was shuffling cards by myself even long before she graduated. She definitely knows her stuff about magic. She won two bronze awards in speech and debate out of the entire nation and currently interns for the Jet Propulsion Lab for NASA. She also owns and rides a motorcycle. Not kidding. Besides being a total badass, she is smarter, prettier, and far more articulate than I am, and she makes for a pretty phenomenal co-host. And now for a story that really isn't a story, Blake Voigt was in California for a couple days, and he stopped by for dinner and a little jam session, and holy sheesh y'all, that dude is creative. He showed me what is hands down the greatest card trick I have ever seen, ever. Ever. And apparently his mom watches The Insider, so hi Blake's mom, 
Glad to know I have one female viewer who watches this show. We released several new products on The Wire this week, which are definitely worth taking a look at. We also released a video by Rick Lax of some advanced applications of Vertigo, which are pretty cool. The reviews for that have also started pouring in and everyone seems to be digging it so far. And lastly, but most importantly, let's talk about the monarch. If you're following us on Twitter and Facebook, which I hope you are, you know that we've been talking in pretty high regards about a new deck that we are very excited about, that we have not released a single bit of information about yet. Well, I mean, we released the name, which is Monarchs, but other than that, nothing. On 11-11-11, at 11-11-11, which is November 11th, at 11-11, and then 11 seconds for those of you who cannot count. We will finally be releasing the Monarchs. When you say it like that, it kind of sounds like we're releasing butterflies into the wild, but I assure you it's much cooler than it sounds. Now being the host of The Insider, I got a special sneak peek at the decks, and I have to say they're pretty awesome, but the boxes? If you thought the Jacked and the Sentinel boxes were cool, you literally have no idea. They are so silky. Feels like a baby's bottom. That's weird, I'm getting this strange feeling that I was somehow interrupted. Almost like something paranormal is going on in this room. Do you guys, do you hear that? <laughs> Lastly, boys and squirrels, it's time to announce this week's question of the day. What's that? I didn't read the comments from last week's question? None of them were funny. Your question for this week is very important and I'm a little scared about asking it because I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but today Kristen and I are going to be filming Monday's episode of Expose and it's releasing on Halloween, so we figured we might as well dress up. So in the comments below, let us know what costume or what characters we should dress up as. They can be different, they can be the same, they can be matching or completely unrelated. But let us know in the comments below, we will pick one comment, go to the Halloween store today, and buy the costumes that you suggest. Actually saying this out loud makes you realize what a terrible idea this might actually be, but leave your comments below and I really look forward to seeing the responses. That's about it for this week's episode. Leave your comments down below. Let us know what you think. Be sure to tune in for Expose this Monday to see the costumes that we've picked. And I will see you next Friday. Happy Halloween. <laughs>